Hi everyone, my name is Amanda Williams, and today we are going to look at adding preventative maintenance to an asset. But before we do that, we need to start with the classifications. Let me log into our Maximo, this is 7613. And we're going to go over here to our administration module and to our classifications application. So I am looking to add maintenance to a door. I'm going to search and see what classifications we have in place. We use the UNSPSC codes for our assets. And it looks like we only have doors and wooden doors, and this is a metal door. So I'm going to need to add in a new classification. So to do that, I'm going to hit the new classification button. And I'm going to put in my code. That's my UNSPSC code. And this is going to be for metal doors. I'm going to pick the parent classification. And that's going to be under UNSPSD. I can open that up with this little arrow. I can see the doors and windows and scroll down to the doors. So I want this to be my parent. I'm going to click on this button and it's going to bring the information over for me. I want this to be available for all orgs and sites. So I'm going to leave these blank and then I'm going to click save. This is going to bring over the assets, the items and tool items from that parent automatically. But I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to add in some attributes for these specifications that I want to capture on this door. So I'm going to click new row. And I'm going to go to my pick list and I'm going to type in height, enter, and I'm going to click the overall height. I'm going to go to new row, go back to my pick list and I'm going to pick the width. I'm going to click on that overall width. And then the last thing that I'm going to capture is going to be the door thickness. So I've added in the different attributes that I want to collect on my assets and I'm going to click save. And now I have a classification that is ready to go for my asset. Okay, so let's recap. We added the classification to the system to help standardize data, making it easier for searching and reporting in the future. We use the UN SPSC codes because they are used internationally for goods and services, which makes it easier for us to integrate with our suppliers and procurement. And we added in the additional attributes to not only help with our standardizing, but also to help with automations and utilizing AI in the future.